your bite-sized daily roundup of the biggest news from the world of film. This is The Daily Reel with Van Connor. Good morning. It's Thursday, July the 8th. The day the first Fantastic Four opened in 2005, Horrible Bosses came out a decade ago, and it's five years to the day since the release of The Secret Life of Pets. It's birthday to Billy Crudup, Maya Hawke, Angelica Houston, and Kevin Bacon, and it's the day you should probably know about all of this. Robert Downey Sr., director and father to Robert Downey Jr., has died peacefully in his sleep at the age of 85. Downey Sr., a prolific counterculture director, was best known for helming the 1969 satire Putney Swope. It starred Arnold Johnson, Joe Madden and Mel Brooks, and boldly took on the advertising world, the portrayal of race in Hollywood films, the white power structure and the nature of corporate corruption. In 2016, he was chosen by the Library of Congress to be preserved by the United States National National Film Registry for being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. In a tribute, Downey Jr. posted on social media confirmation of his father's passing and said that it came, quote, after years of enduring the ravages of Parkinson's, but he was a true maverick filmmaker and remained remarkably optimistic throughout. Downey Jr. then went on to praise his stepmother, author Rosemary Rogers Downey, calling her a saint and thanking her for caring for her husband for so long. Robert Downey Sr. is survived by his wife and two children. Sonny Williams again. He was a guest on Dating Game, and when he didn't win, he stood up and exposed himself again. CBS went off the air for seven hours. Bail him out and get him in here. TriStar Pictures have finally signed a director for the studio's forthcoming remake of musical classic Guys and Dolls, settling on Oscar winner Bill Condon. Condon has a proven track record when it comes to movie musicals, having penned 2002's Chicago and having both written and directed 2006's Dreamgirls. More recently, he helmed Disney's musical live-action remake of Beauty and the Beast and co-wrote The Greatest Showman. The 1950 Tony Award-winning musical has been adapted to the screen memorably once before, in a glossy 1955 feature that starred Marlon Brando as Sky Masterson and Frank Sinatra as Nathan Detroit. A 20th Century Fox remake had been planned as far back as 2013 and was moving towards filming, with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Channing Tatum filling in the Brando and Sinatra parts respectively. Unfortunately, with Disney's purchase of Fox, that project fell by the wayside, allowing the rights instead to be picked up by TriStar. No release date for Condon's Guys and Dolls has been set, but pre-production is expected to begin in earnest this month. What brings all these senior delinquents together? They got lonely, how do I know? And why are they all wearing red carnations? They are also all wearing pants. You are up to no good, Detroit. Is it now a crime to wear flowers? Is Mindy suddenly a hideout for gangsters? Lieutenant, I'll confess. We're smuggling hot cheesecake into Canada. Rocketman's Taron Egerton has signed on to replace Robert Pattinson, director Claire Denis stars at noon. Pattinson, who previously worked with Denis on the critically acclaimed High Life, dropped out due to scheduling conflicts, reportedly brought on by the delays to the filming of Matt Reeves' The Batman. Golden Globe winner Edgerton started his career in Matthew Vaughan's Kingsman The Secret Service, but quickly established himself as a dependable, dramatic actor in features such as Eddie the Eagle and the aforementioned Elton John biopic Rocket Man. Claire Denis' new project, Stars at Noon, will adapt the 1986 novel of the same name by writer Denny Johnson. A sweeping historical romantic drama thriller, the picture will follow a female American anti-war reporter during the 1984 Nicaraguan Revolution. The report set to be played by Margaret Qualey, soon meets a handsome employee of a suspicious British oil operation in the bar of a decrepit luxury hotel. Their newfound love is tested, however, when they're forced to flee for the border amidst political unrest. Edgerton will, of course, be on board as the handsome Brit, and the feature, produced by Curiosa Films and RT Features, is set to be distributed by A24. There's no release date for Stars at Noon as yet, but shooting will commence shortly. I think you're overreacting. No! Bernie, you are underreacting. They are the geniuses of American music. I can't go out there in front of that lot. Okay, okay. 
Bruno Dumont's Jeanette, the childhood of Joan of Arc, is new to stream for movie subscribers from today, while Shudder's adding Ivan Kavanaugh's son to its library. Freeview today has The Living Daylight showing on ITV4, Clash of the Titans on BBC4, I Spy, It Could Happen to You, and True Lies on Great Movies, Ultraviolet and Offensive are on the Horror Channel, and Film 4 airing Star Trek V The Final Frontier, Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country, The Vanishing, and Len Wiseman's remake of Total Recall. Cool. While the Sky Cinema are now premiere for today is Titans actor Alan Richson's directorial debut, the thriller Dark Web, Cicada 3301. All of which makes up your daily reel for Thursday, July the 8th. Keep it cinematic though, and we'll see you tomorrow. The Daily Reel is a Candy Saw production, presented by Van Connor and written by Calvin Prickett. All information is correct at the time of writing, and source links are in the description for each episode. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe on all good podcast platforms, or ask Alexa to install the Daily Reel skill for your morning flash briefing. Follow the show on social at Daily Reel Pod, and we'll be back every weekday. Until then, keep it cinematic. Cinematic.